All right, November 30th, just here picking up Joe now. We're gonna go up to uh, Spray Lake, uh, try our hand at a bit of ice fishing. Hard to say if it's gonna be frozen or not. You know, Lake Louise is, uh, has got their ice rink open, so I can only assume that uh, Spray Lake is, is frozen. It's about the same elevation, so it's probably not gonna be very much ice, and it's probably gonna be clear right down to the bottom, so it's uh, it'll be freaky. Wish us luck. I think he's almost ready. <laughs> That's it. That's your what to break. What? <laughs> I know. That's attack for fly fishing and ice fishing. Was, I know. I was thinking the same thing walking out. I was like, geez, we live in a pretty cool place that you can leave with your fly rod and your ice fishing stuff, and you're just as likely to use either one. Oh, well, I think the, the, the lake is going to be frozen enough for us to go out on. Uh, you probably. Think yeah, probably not by much. I, I bet you we got about that much ice. We got like two or three inches of clear ice. I'd say four inches at least. Did you bring an auger? Yeah. yeah. Okay, did I you get, bring a rope? Yeah, no. But, wait. I think I got a rope behind me here. Yeah, I'm almost positive I got a rope behind me. So. I got one in the garage you want. Yeah, might as well bring it. Not yeah. a bad idea. <laughs> all right, that's it. We're all gassed up now and uh, gonna head up to the spray. We, we just came from Wapiti, uh, the sports shop, the fly shop here in town. And uh, they said the ice is probably too thin, but uh, to me and Joe, that, that sounds like more of a challenge than anything else. <laughs> we're, we're off. Around the trail, and uh, you see some people have already gone out there, but I think it's snowshoers more so than fishers. Is uh, yeah. no, yeah, I don't think anybody, yeah, yeah, that's true. The guys at the shop said that uh, this was open water about a week ago, so a week of freezing that's enough, right? Yeah, we're making our way down to spray like this area is like notorious for cougars. I've seen cougar tracks in here, Joe has seen cougar tracks in here. We found these which we both agreed uh, didn't look like rabbit tracks and with the fact it looks like it's dragging its feet and tail I'm probably gonna go ahead and say that that's a cougar so <laughs> cougar in here somewhere rabbit yeah rabbit with a really long tail there you go you see Joe's the optimist in all this right there <laughs> all right well we're out on the ice so uh, I'm taking the lead here because I've got on my life jacket and I've got my auger to, uh, to spread my weight it's looking pretty good like you can see there's a ledge there, two, three inch ice. It's super black. Why don't we take a look? All right, well here's test hole. Didn't get very far when we came out and took a good chuck. I'd say, I don't know, maybe about four inches of ice or so. Maybe more, maybe less. I'd say four inches at least. We'll let Joe take a look. You take a look too, Joe. Well, Joe, we made it this far across the lake. We got like six inches of ice, like, not too worried. There's gonna be thin spots. We're definitely being careful. Drilling a hole like every 100 feet, so. Yeah, maybe we'll get some fish out of it. Alrighty, that's it, we made it. We, we didn't fall in. We're on one of the most senior places on Earth, and we're dry. And down goes, uh, down goes the lure. I, uh, fingers crossed now, I'm not in like 200 feet of water. We're a little further over. We usually go a little ways over there, but, uh, you know, see what happens. Alrighty, got one. Just a little bugger, but he makes the day. Gotta love it. Hey, yes, sir. All right, back down to all you goes, and he's gone. Yay! There you go. Joe just hooking and releasing one there now, or maybe releasing it, you know, might bring one home to eat. And that's it, man. As you can see, my shadow's getting long, and it's getting to be a little late, but taking in a bit of the scenery here now is uh, definitely part and parcel. As, uh, yeah, what a lot of place, eh? That's it. It's a good day of fishing. You got like a half a dozen or so. All right, that's it. Made it back across the lake. Now all we gotta do is get through the cougar infested woods like just before dark. Yeah, that's all. It's no big deal, right? I had to put on my schmock. I, I, I was worried I was gonna get frostbite on my nose. I might still yet. It, uh, the sun went down and man, it, it dropped like at least 10 or 15 degrees like per second. And uh, so it's really cold now and we really want to get back to the truck and uh, get home. So yeah, anyways, that was a good day of fishing, man. That was bad. That was fun. Right? <laughs> Perfect. Gotta love it. You know, half a dozen fish can't beat that. Right on. It's 2020 and 
just putting together a video here now of Castle Gar, which I did in the spring. Uh, hopefully you guys will check that out on my YouTube channel, Fishing with Gear. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about it. There's uh, going to be another big year coming up. I got all sorts of trips planned, going out to Terrace and fishing the Skeena in January, February, somewhere around there. Maybe freeze to death, maybe catch a steel, I don't know. But uh, certainly check it out. Cheers.